It's always a party at Patchworks. Let's get this party started. Woot woot. I see a few of you jumping on. Thank you so much for joining us on this sp first day of spring today. I think they call it the vernal equinox. Is that correct, Frank? Frank doesn't know what the day is. I think it's a vernal equinox. What do you think? So I have Frank here in the studio with me tonight. He's going to be helping me monitor our comments and helping me grab all the good stuff and things like that. Let us know that you're here with us tonight. Let us know that you can hear us and that we're looking all right. Thanks, Fran, for sharing and liking. Always like that everyone can share and like so that we can have more friends joining us. So before I show you our bundle of the week, which is inspired by these really beautiful sewing machine blooms that I have sprawled out on, the, on our front screen that when you joined, as well as on our little uh, event page that we had, we are going to be talking about this super cool new snowball lace quilt. So I have called it the, I think, and um, uh, the snow, snowball lace. I called it All-Star Surprise because snowball lace just sounded like the wrong quilt name with these really fun sports things. But you know, snowball lace kind of is appropriate for showing you a quilt the night before this epic spring snowstorm. So, you know, who knows? But why don't we get started with some super pretty fabric. Uh, then we'll start talking about our sewing machine blooms bundle of the week. Woo! So with our bundle of the week here that we have, called it sewing machine blooms. And let me get you the link for our bundles. I included in here the collection, the link for the collection for the whole thing. There we go. All right, and for those of you who are new to our show, a bundle of the week is 12 beautiful fabrics that we have curated together. This is our inspiration piece this week. And sometimes from they're from a fabric line, sometimes they are assorted, and this time they're assorted. And rather than being the regular price of $39 for all 12, we have them here that they are a special price of $24.99. So we have some black and white here, and I thought that'd be cool to pick up on the featherweight white accents there. We have some Robin Pickens, we have some Camille, we have some Space Dye from Northcott, more Robin Pickens. We put in some Cafe. We grabbed this really cool, and we're gonna look at these fabrics a little bit more, these really cool collage fabrics from Northcott. More Robin Pickens. Some Patrick Lose and some Art Gallery. What do you think? I think this is a really fun collection here that just plays off of the beautiful flowers on this sewing machine. So lots of really fun things that you can do. I just, we were playing back and forth seeing whether or not we should have put in the black and white, but I thought it would be really cool. So let me know what you think. If you think it would be fun to, that we included this black and white kind of as a fun little accent in there. And what can you do with 12 fat quarters? So someone came into the store last week who's been watching us for a long time. And so, hello, I hope you're watching again tonight. And so you asked, what can I do with 12 fat quarters? So every month we give you a complimentary pattern of the month. And Frank, can I have you quick grab from the stack here on the other side here? I should have had it right in front of me. So we give you every month different patterns that are feature 12 fat quarters and a background, sometimes a border. We have them hanging around the shop. And uh, 12 fat quarters, 
Thank you, Frank. So we give you patterns like this that say 12 pack. So maybe when you're thinking fat stacks and bundle of the week, you're not thinking 12 pack. So all of these patterns that you've been collecting over the time that we've been handing you, shoving in your bag or shipping with your orders have been about 12 fat quarters. So I show you these different bundles of the week that have a really great price. And then sometimes we have packs like this that we put together that are regular price that we feature in quilts like that. But all around the shop, we have all of these different things that we call fat stacks or 12 packs that are three yards of fabric, about the yardage equi equivalent of a layer cake or a jelly roll, or three one yard cuts or one three yard cut. But what it is, is it's a really nice tight matching set that can be the starter for a quilt kit. So I hope that answered your question. If you were looking to see what you can do with these beautiful bundles that we keep trying to sell you. And uh, if you just come in, we'll be walk you around the store and show you all sorts of different things you can make with them, including the quilt behind me that I'm going to be talking about in a little bit. All right, so I'm so excited that a bunch more of you have been hopping on. Frank, do we have any questions yet? No questions yet, yay! So that's super exciting. With this particular fat stack or bundle of the week option that we did, we have the traditional 12 fat quarters, but also we've been continuing with our half yard grouping. So we decided to split it up. We have just a few of these that are the half yard groupings. And so those are 48.98, which is two times of 24.99 and twice the fun for making something twice as big if you love it. And this sewing machine fabric. Oh goodness, I have a couple more yards of it on the bolt at least a yard and a half, maybe two yards. And this is called Pink Floral Sewing Machines from Timeless Treasures. So it's a regular price fabric and uh, lots of fun with that. So this particular curated collection contained both clearance priced fabrics, but also regular priced fabrics. It goes really well with the bundle from last week. So we had grabbed one of the lighthearted bundles that we had put together from Camille's line. And we had put that as the bundle of the week last week. And so you can see both of these work really, really well together if you wanted to extend it and have something that was a little bit more pink and more floral to be able to play with. And I did also share with you those really fun collage fabrics. So we even have a fat stack together of the Color Collage 2 fa fabrics that are available from Northcott. I am going to pull the pack apart and show the fabrics to you overhead so you can see these gorgeous fabrics and uh, see how fun they are. So these are similar to the style that Kathy Holden from Moda does. Um, I think she even has a color collage line that's coming out later this year that is showcased where these different types of fabrics are put together as a rainbow. You might have seen that in some social media inspiration. But let's go ahead and take a peek overhead. So these are the Northcott Color Collage 2 fabrics. Currently we have them in the store in the front foyer. Frank, are you seeing everything all right? Yep. All right. So it's really kind of fun. All the ephemera that's together. Oh, I didn't give you an overhead? Thank you. Very good. So, here we go. See, it's great when Frank's here so I can uh, don't go on for hours on end having the wrong screen in front of me. All right, so you can see we have all the different colors going around the rainbow here. There are 10 different fabrics in this collection. And then we had put, um, we had put 
two different fabrics together with it, okay? So that is really a fun option. In order, so there's 10 pieces in the collection and we added two to make a fat stack. But you can do all sorts of fussy cutting. Look, this is just really, really cool. I'm not quite sure what the repeat on this fabric is, but in a fat quarter, and I'm going to hold it in front of me here for you to see it a little bit better. You can see, you can get a lot of different great things from in here if you are looking to fussy cut and include different things. So next time you're looking for some I Spy things, maybe check out these prints because they're super cool. And those are the Color Collage 2 fabrics for Northcott. All right, so those are the different fabrics here that we have for our, that were all part of the inspiration of the bundle. So now I think it's time to talk about this really awesome quilt behind me. What do you think? I think it'd be great. So the quilt behind me is the, what did we call it again? I already forget. All Star Surprise, All Star Surprise. It comes from the book, Small Blocks, Big Designs. And in this particular book, it's, oh my goodness, it's only $12.99 for this book, Frank? Wow, this is such a good value. We've sold so many of these, haven't we? He's nodding, yes, we've sold a ton of these books and they're just really a great inspiration. They have all of these quilts included in them. And the cover quilt here, well, this is pretty cool. This The feature fabric had been Nantucket and the Nantucket Shores, which was last summer's Camille. And guess what? Shoreline, it's in transit. I think we're expecting it for Tuesday, Frank. Does that sound about right? So on Tuesday, so it's still on a truck coming to us from Dallas. Oh, I was hoping we'd have it too for this week, but um, it's gonna be in the store. We still have the pre-cuts in store right now and a whole bunch of pattern inspiration, but here's another great idea. So another reason to get this book. I'm going to grab this collection for you so that you can see everything that we put into it. And okay, so. We have, it's on page, I have one with a bookmark in it. We should look at that one instead, don't you think? Yeah, I think so. All right, so it's on page 27, and it's called Snowball Lace. And there's two different blocks. And the reason why it's called Small Block Big Design is that they are six inch blocks. So this particular quilt has two block styles, okay? So we have a simple, snowballed square. That one's super, super easy. I'm going to show you how to put that together. And then there's a more complex block here. So there's a little hourglass in there that has this very interesting house frame around it, which is quite an interesting geometry, but we think it gives a really great alternating pattern in this design. The pattern calls for tw uh, 11 fat quarters, but we went ahead and chose to you pair it with one of our fat stacks. And that way, if you have 12 different fabrics, the more fabrics, the merrier, it makes it really fun. So, what are you going, how big is it? So it is 48 by 66. This would be really great to put a border around it, okay? So the pattern did not call for a border as it was just a fun little throw quilt. A border would extend it to be a nice, uh, bed quilt for a small human or a large human. And you do have a little bit of extra fabric left over if you had wanted to extend the fabric. Now I know someone's gonna be asking, how big can I make it with the fabric that's in the quilt, or in the book pattern requirements? I'm not quite sure, but uh, Heidi, as she was making this, she just wanted to let me know that the pattern instructions were quite generous. And you know, 
generous isn't always necessarily bad because sometimes when those patterns just require every thread of fabric, you know, if you pre-wash or you shrink your fabric or, you know, fabric isn't 45 inches off the bolt anymore. And so it's really, really nice when there's that little bit of wiggle room so that uh, we're able to make the patterns as designed from the fabric that is listed in the patterns. So that's pretty awesome. I always like to think about it half glass full, right? So let's take a peek at the inspirational all-star fat stack that we use to get started, okay? So this fat stack here, we used, it's a Stacy H. Sue line, and we used some navy prints here. The Delft blue prints. Oh, this star is just fantastic. And then the reds. Can we see it all here? I think so. I think it's all fitting on the screen. Okay, so they're all kind of medium-sized prints here. Nothing, I mean, these two are small, but otherwise medium-sized prints. Nothing too huge, which is great for being able to chop them up. And so you can also see when we make our fat stacks, even if we're taking it from a line, what we like to do is we like to balance the color. And so you can see here we chose four navy, four delft, or denims, and then four reds. So that's how we go for it. And we also try to have the pattern so that it's not all the same pattern. Uh, these collections are pretty tight in design, so we're not able to have all different prints. But you can see here we have two pennants, we have two of these outlines, two stars, two of these, two of these, two of these, okay? So really we try to um, mix it up so that you're not getting all of the same print, okay? So that is the crazy magic that goes into our curation of the collections. All right, so what else do we need to make this quilt? We need to make this quilt on page 27. We need five eighths, so three quarters yard of binding. It says yard and seven eighths of the background fabric. So let's go ahead and make that two yards. Two and a quarter yards of navy, of the accent, which for us is the chai solid. And you probably could get away with just getting two yards, but the pattern says two and a quarter, so let's say two and a quarter. And then three and a quarter for backing. You're going to want batting, thread and basic sewing supplies. Now, the other thing too, which is a little unusual, is that we are going to be using a template here a house template to cut out these pieces. So you're going to want to, um, you can just cut that out with tracing paper or such. The way that we use it, we place it on top of another shape that I'll show you. It's pretty a slick trick. But you can, if you have extra template plastic laying around, that could be a good use of that template plastic that you have at your disposal. Okay, I'm gonna bring over my step out sheet here my pieces so that I can share with you how this all goes together. Frank, do you want to clean up these pieces of fabric while I do that? Why don't you just take this here, I'm going to hand this to you, and then you can hand me back a clean one after. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, so when we are putting this together, we are going to, we're going to talk about first how we cut the, how we cut the, thanks Frank, how we cut the cheddar fabric, okay? Cheddar. So let's look over. So um, Frank says, somebody says that they lost us. 
I know last week we had a couple people have issue finding us. I'm going to continue. It's saving, and if some of you miss us, we'll make sure that we have it all posted up on our YouTube so you'll be able to see it in its entirety. All right, so that's the great part about technology is that when we are going, it's all going constant. I know it's no fun if we get disconnected somewhere along the way on social media. You can always hop over to our YouTube channel, which seems to have a better consistent streaming. Not quite sure why that all happens, um, but sometimes it is. Sometimes it works that way. I don't know, seven o'clock must be a really popular time for the world to be streaming. Okay. All right, so we're just gonna keep on going with our fun quilt project. All right, so what we are going to do is that we need to be cutting strips of our background. And so this is the really slick trick that Heidi and Lisa had come up with for making the little house pattern, okay? So rather than trying to trace out these, um, trace these out, cut out four and seven eighth inch strips which we then cut into four and seven eighth inch squares, okay? Took those squares and we cut them in half diagonally once. Now here is where the absolute magic comes in. Are you watching? Are you watching? Are you sitting down? All right, we're gonna take the Snowball Lace Template, Template E, and look at that, isn't that spectacular? It fits in there perfectly, so we're just gonna cut off here and here. And when we cut this off, what I like to do is I like to take a uh, acrylic ruler, like, you know, if you have a rotary mate, if you have your big mama, whatever ruler you have, and you know, the one that I'm grabbing right now happens to be a big daddy because it's the one that I happen to have closest to me. And so what I do when I'm using a ruler and a template is I line, I have my template, either paper or plastic underneath. I line up on the perpendicular here and then I cut, okay? So I don't try to like freestyle cut this because what can happen is that we keep shaving things off and then our template pieces get smaller and smaller and smaller. So if I line up the perpendicular on the bottom, and then my quarter inch with my sole line, that you see this little dotted line here? Then I am never shaving off the edge. Or let's say I did shave it off, I'm correcting to where I should be cutting, okay? So that's just my little pro tip there. All right, so we got that, and then after we cut it, it's going to magically turn into this. And the thing that I also love about the method of how this is cut is that, do you see here how the print is printed snowball lace and it is at what appears to be at an angle if you're looking at this as a house, but when you cut it like this, and we're going to be piecing it, you have straight of grain on the outside of your block. And we're just going to quick flip back to our quilt here. So this house that we're cutting comes right here. So our we're, we don't have bias outside edges. So it's a really, really, really slick way of working this particular unit. And um, it's pretty simple to do. If you're gonna be making this quilt, we'll make sure to give you those extra tips on how we cut it, and it is incredibly fabric efficient. You do have a bunch of these little the leftover schnibby triangles that if you were completely ambitious, you could go ahead and turn into something else, or you could just sort of just toss caution to the wind and um, just put them in your recyclable fiber container. All right, so. What are we gonna do with it now that we have those together? All right, so we are going to 
um, take our background. We'll talk about how to put these into the other unit first. Um, so we're going to turn that into this. All right, so let's go back overhead. Okay, so we have our house unit and we have some white fabrics that might be a little challenging to see on the white background, but they're, they're bigger than the ones we cut away and you can see that they're bigger. I'm just gonna place it on a square behind so we can see it, okay? So you can see here that it's bigger and so we're gonna line that up and we're gonna sew the V. If you're using a print fabric, you're gonna wanna be very, very careful that you have, if you need to pay attention to any directionality. We used Bella Solid 200, which is the off-white, so we didn't have to worry about anything at all. After you sew it, it looks like this. You're gonna press it, trim off your little edges, and voila, you have that. So those are, let's look at the quilt. You have two of these, and then you're just gonna have two lone guys hanging out there. We'll talk about how that goes together. So now how are we gonna get that little hourglass together? The little hourglass, there's a number of different ways that you could make this quarter square triangle unit. The way that the pattern has us construct it is working and putting together actual quarter square triangle units of the background and your cut piece, okay? So we are going to pair them together. Pair them together. If you are making a bunch of these, there are more efficient ways of doing it. When you press to one side and you're pressing to the dark side, one thing that's super great is that this seam nests, and so it's very helpful as you're putting things together. You can just feel how it's going to match together. You, for those of you that have watched me a long time, you know I like to press my seams open a lot and then pin that way. Um, when you are working with quarter square triangle units like this, sometimes it is fun, even if you typically press open, to press to the dark side just so that everything nestles up so great. And then you get these great little units like this. So your pattern that you are putting together, you're just gonna be trimming off your little tails here. It is not super forgiving. You're not truing these up. So after these are together, you have, let me just check my pieces here. You're gonna have some houses here, so you're gonna put a house here and a house here so that we have a diagonal. And then we're going to do that. And do that. Whew, super cool. Isn't that fun? It's super fun. I think it's a really excellent, um, I think it's a really excellent little different geometry block. So that is the hard block. So we went the hard one first and now we'll do the easy part where we just do our snowballs, where we take a big square and we put these smaller squares in the corners. I always like to draw my lines on there. So make sure we're at the right dimension before we trim off. If you want to be super ambitious, go ahead and sew a half inch from your first, from the right, from the seam that you really need to make a little mini cutoff triangle that you can turn into something else. If that is too ambitious, just go ahead and cut off the excess. Now that you have all of your different blocks together, you are going to assemble in rows and you want to stagger the positioning of your blocks so that they go together super cool, just like this. And with the 12 different fabrics that we used, uh, we had a really nice assortment of patterns. If you have a bunch of different scraps that you wanted to use, by all means, you can absolutely include more fabrics if you'd like, or if you wanted to pare it down and only use, let's say, six 
half yards, you could also use six half yards. Now, I'm seeing that this could also be a really fun eye spy quilt, and I'm just eye spying our super awesome roll up here and this uh, I Spy Stash Builder Pack. While I haven't done the math, because I know we don't have giant piece, pieces required for this quilt, I am certain you'd be able to get out what you'd need to if you were making an I Spy quilt with this. Wouldn't this be fun? So, super fun with that. All sorts of really great options. Now, for the pattern I had said we used white solid and then the chai bella solid because we thought it went really really well with this now one, sometimes when we are making samples like this we choose to go solid or basic um, sometimes simply because we want to make sure we can make as many people happy if we use Use, let's say, a background fabric to be happy, okay? So, you can, um, we encourage you to make the background your own, however you wish, all right? So, I've included some options for you in the collection that I had posted to the feed. And this blue stripe here is what we had used for our binding that is part of the All-Star collection. We still have a fair amount of fabrics available from the All-Star collection, as well as pre-cuts and such. So I'm going to put these back in here, and Frank's going to come out here to help me hold some panels. If you wanted to make some coordinating things, we have... Um, where are we? He's shy. Frank is shy. You have to come back here, Frank. See, we kind of even match. All right, so here is a pennant. You have to back up a little bit. All right, so on this panel, you have some fun things that you could stuff, or you could also have them be coasters if you wanted to make them flat. That could be really cool. Uh, so there's one, two, three pieces here, and then you have one, two, three, four, five pennants. Oh, here's another, um, here's a soccer ball that you can either turn into a coaster or a stuffy. And then you have All-Stars, Champs, Play Ball, Go Team, and Let's Win, as well as these side pieces here that you can use for a pennants, that you can hang on a wall. You could turn these into super cute pillows, like if you had, um, if you faced them on the back side with, or backed them with solid colors, I think that could be super great, and stuffed them and had them on a bed. You could also have them be hanging in sort of a banner, or you could have them be staggered on the wall. Lots of really great options for what you could do there. Now for the younger all-stars in your life, there is an all-star activity book which you can make, and Stacy's activity books are always super awesome. And so whenever we make them up, like they're gone in a day and a half. We didn't make this one up, so it's still here, but that doesn't make it any less cute. So this here, um, you wanna come this way? Okay, so we have all sorts of different pages here. You have tic-tac-toe, you have mazes, you have guess the sport. So it's not for the super, super tinies, you know, in your word search here. So for super tinies, you absolutely can just have them and they can play and grow with it, but it is a useful activity book for those who can read to be able to play those levels of activity. So super fun, always great resources and as I said we do have all the pre-cuts still the charms the layers um, full towers as well as lots of yardage to be able to make lots of really fun stuff all right thank you Frank all right so now Frank's gonna check on the comments to see if there's anything coming in for us to see
And that was the All-Star quilt. So I hope you like that. We will be, um, that'll be hanging in the front foyer. We're working on a couple other really amazing quilts. So Lisa finished up her Zootropolis 2 quilt, which is amazing. So unquilted, it's hanging right now in the front and we're quilting it up to be able to show it off here and we're making up all sorts of boxed kits for you as well so that you can go ahead and just scoop up a whole completed quilt. Frank has ordered a bunch more books because we know once you see it, you are going to just go bananas for it. So we're really excited to be able to show you that finished quilt uh, so that you can check that out. It is definitely, definitely a show-stopping quilt. And then Heidi's been working on a panel quilt and we have a couple other things up our sleeve for early April. So we're really excited to share all sorts of great stuff with you. So what else do I have to share with you? As I said, Shoreline, highly anticipated Shoreline, uh, should be here by Tuesday. Cross your fingers, it's in transit. And we have all those, we know it's going to go super, super quick. We have the pre-cuts in stock now. So if you had wanted the pre-cuts, maybe scoop those up and then grab your yardage after that comes in, okay? Because I would hate for you to wait to get um, like a layer cake or a jelly roll and then um, be sad because they're gone by the time the yardage is here. We are getting from Andover a beautiful line called Salute that's in transit as well and that is a traditional red, white, and blue line. I know I've had several Quilts of Honor quilters come in that have been really, really sad that are patriotic in the very traditional sense of the patriotic uh, fabrics have been out of stock. We have had such a run on them and so I'm really excited. We've been waiting for this Salute line for a couple months. It's been a little delayed, so we're really happy to have that little collection come in. I think there's 10 pieces in that one. It's, it's less than 20 pieces, and they're more coordinate type pieces that are just gonna be perfect for a project for you. Frank's checking that for us. And um, so that's really great. We did not get doubles on any of them. Oh, there's 24. I don't know how to count. I think it's, it was a case pack, and that's where I somehow thought 10. So there's 24. So that's going to make a great uh, two fat quarter collection. So awesome. Be, stay tuned for that. Then I have, um, oh, Jean wants to know, will we have Roar from Tula? Absolutely, Jean. So we are your Tula store, okay? So Tula uh, Roar is the dinosaur one that is coming. We have, um, I believe, one more of the Big Bang quilts. That's the manufacturer box kit that is not spoken for. Uh, we've been kind of backing away from ordering a ton of the box kits because, um, well, they're a little pricey. And so I want to make sure that we get in the right balance of inventory of things that you'd like uh, and things that you need versus things that are not desirable. So we have that whole collection coming in. We have a whole bunch of yardage. We'll be making up bundles and towers for that, um, as well as if there was a different quilt kit that you'd like us to kit, uh, please let us know so that we can do that. We've been stocking up and we got a restock of a whole bunch of Tula Solids and Tula Basics, as well as Tula Wide Backs. And then if we're just, since we're talking Tula, yes, we have Deja Vu, uh, Tabby Road on order, including all the minky that goes with that and the Wide Backs and all the good stuff. So uh, be assured we are continuing to support Tula and are going to be continuing to reorder the reorderables that we can. So let us know if you're looking for something and we can make sure to tag you as soon as it arrives. But as you know, we always scream it through the rooftops as soon as 
Tula Pink hits the floor. Okay, so um, we've been also busy re-kitting a whole bunch of bundles as we were talk starting talking about fat stacks and stuff because, well, you've been loving our bundles so much. So when we remake a bundle, sometimes they have a slightly different variation of the fabrics. So that's why I'm showing it to you because it's not the picture that we maybe showed you the last time we did it. So this is Allure. I'm just going to quick run through and show you. This is, we're almost done with all of our beautiful peacock fabric. We've included a few more blenders in this particular one. It's so pretty. And um, Heidi's going to be making the tote bag that came with this line as well. So that's a really fun collection, Allure, and we call this V2, Fat Stack V2 for version 2. Okay, so that's the allure. We have been busy making more color bundles. So we have orange, turquoise, and gray that we've added. Let me show you overhead what those are. So these have been super popular as we've been releasing them. So these are patchwork curated from all sorts of different manufacturers and designers, just stash building bundles. These are $39, and we are going through the rainbow, and we will continue to make them and refine them. And, you know, we have a combination of almost nothing prints to some really subtle novelty prints. And one of the things to remember if you're seeing this and you're like, oh my goodness, Julie, there's a elephant in this. Just keep in mind, a lot of times when you're using these fabrics, you really don't see any of the prints at all, which is why we wanted to make sure we included a variety of textures like this. So this is the orange color bundle. Let me quick get the um, get the collection for you here. I'm going to get you the the link to the color bundles. Maybe, maybe not. I'll add it after. Um, let me make that caption go away. All right. Then we have the turquoise. This is the one that's showing on the front page of our website. Now these color builder bundles we have not been making in half yard options. You are going to need to let me know if you are looking for half yard options for color bundles like this, okay? because your feedback helps determine what it is that we put together. So all sorts of really great things, some things from our color wall, some things from collections that we've pulled out, um, but really a variety of different colors so that you can make all sorts of really amazing things. This one was called the turquoise one. Then I'm gonna grab the gray. And the gray, this one is pretty fun. I mean, they're all fun. But for the gray, I did include a little bit of the Kim Schaefer that has a little bit of the opalescent in here. So that has that little opalescent in there. A little bit of a shimmer, but it's not, a, it's not a metallic. Okay, so depending on how the light hits it, sometimes you don't see it at all. Jot dot in there, dimples, some phosphor, all sorts of really great things. So this is the gray color builder fat stack. And we have still all of the red, the green, the blue, a white, and we'll continue to make more. So let me know if there's a color that you are waiting on. Uh, turquoise and orange came this week per request for somebody who wanted it next. So let us know because we are more than happy to change the order of building our bundles so that you have exactly what you need at the right time. Now, something else is that if you had wanted these bundles doing something, if you were making 
applique quilts or things like that. Grabbing all of them would be really great to be able to have a nice collection to pull for a fun, whimsical quilt as you're putting it together. Next up, I am going to show you some new stuff that is in the store. We have some new books, patterns, and goodies. I know, I think Bobby, I, you might still be watching. You were wanting to have uh, us to have the Irish puzzle that I showed you with Meadow Star from Ruby Star a couple weeks ago. So we have this pattern in stock. And the thing that I really love about this pattern, specifically, is that it is multi-sized. So you have sizes from baby all the way up to twin. I'm sure it would be super easy to make it bigger as well. The baby size is 44 by 52, twin 80 by 88. Whew, that's quite a sizable twin. So, and this is a charm pack pattern. So, super fun. I also just want to show you this one. I'm not sure if we looked at this one last week or not. This is Daisy, Dizzy Daisy Irish Chain. And this one is also multi-sized. Super exciting how it has all those different sizes in it. Okay, next up, we have the latest three yard quilt book. Woohoo! So, someone called me up and said, Truly, did you see that Donna did it again? She just released a book. So, we made sure to get it in right away. So, we do have the Make It Bold, which is the daughter book, and then we just got the Make It Easy, which is Donna's book. So, lots of great patterns in this one that you can whip up. I know we have some of our customers who just love, love, love making all of these three-yard quilts because they go together so easily and they're great for charity quilts as well. All right, then we have, oh, now so this one here, the Easy Stripe Table Runner. This is the original Easy Stripe Table Runner. Love, love, love it from Karen Montgomery. This is the anniversary edition. So it first came out in 1993, and um, I'm not sure which anniversary this would be, but she calls it the anniversary edition. Super awesome. It is tried and true to w use with your border fabrics. She recommends that you use a nubbed triangle ruler, so you could use a variety of them, including this 60 degree by Marty Michelle that we have in the store. And then Angela Walters has a brand new book and it is called The Ultimate Guide to Free Motion Quilting. And it is a really heavy book with all sorts of great inspiration and a workbook of how to work through different things. Love Angela, she's awesome. And if you're looking to play with her method of free motion quilting techniques. This is a book that I would highly recommend for you. This is $39.95 from the Stash Division of CNT Publishing. I cannot forget to share with you that it is Pouch Club Night. Woohoo! Pouch Club Night. So tonight is the Spring Posy Pouch. We've seen this one before. Jackie went ahead and had shared this with us a little bit ago. Super cute. And these are really, really ample pouches. They are 8 by 10, okay? And really fun and easy to put together. So we have a sample hanging in store here. We have the patterns here. We have two new patterns that arrived from the Pouch Club uh, series. We have the Rainbow Pouch, and we also have the Tiny Tiles Pouch that are also available. We don't have those made up yet. I did want to share with you, with the Rainbow Pouch that we'll be featuring in an upcoming month, we do have the Mini Rainbow Love Zip Pull. And so I included that in the Pouch Club 
collection that we have on our website because I thought that might be super fun to have those together. And other just kind of springy fun charms that I have. I do have one more of the Easter ones. And then we have the lily pad, frog, and ladybug. And then, oh, the poor little robins. The poor little robins that are going to be so cold after it snows tomorrow. So this one is called the mini flower bird zipper pulls. Okay? With a really cute little robin there. All right. question was, are we getting water from Ruby Star? No, we are not. I wish we could get everything. Believe me, I wish we could get everything. Um, we have lots on order that we are waiting for, but sadly, water is not one of them. But keep those questions coming because I love to be able to um, share with you what's coming. And we've been working on putting our purchase orders all in this system so that we can then share with you um, what is going to be coming soon so that you have a little bit better understanding. So we're just checking and cross-checking some of our things. And um, after that's all checked, we'll be able to, so early, uh, it still might take, a, it still might take, I was going to say early second quarter, but that's coming up really quick. So um, soon. Soon we'll be able to share with you what's coming soon so that you have um, more information about that. But we always love to answer all your questions. All right. I have two more really fun new things to share with you. We have some new socks. I love these socks. So these are the Sewing Notion socks. So they have rotary cutters and thread and scissors on it. And the Moto socks. They're a little pricey, but they wear really well. So I've had really great success, but they don't get holes in them really quickly, like some of the other novelty socks that I've gotten from like Target or something that just wear out super quick. And then we have Peacemaker that has these really cute blocks on them. So those are super fun. And they are, I, it's one size. so. It doesn't give us a specific size, but it would be whatever the standard single size women's sock is. And then I finally got a photo. This one has kind of been lurking around, and I haven't had it properly labeled. But the strawberry socks from Ruby, from Ruby Star, these are actually collector's items. And um, we actually have two pair in the store because I never knew how to post them properly on the website. So... It's your lucky day if you are a fan of Kimberly Kite's strawberries. We have two pair of strawberry socks in perfect condition here in the store because I didn't know how to post them right. All right. <laughs> we are figuring all that stuff out. All right. Um, anything else to share with you tonight? Whew. We have all sorts of really great things in the store that we have been preparing for you. We're making new samples. We have some really great, super fun Eastery fabrics in the store. We've been bundling and bundling and bundling. We're um, making more kits for some additional uh, kid-friendly quilts because we know that now is the time that everybody seems to be having baby showers and such, so we're getting all of those ready. Um, Salute, as I had said, is going to be here at the end of this week or on Tuesday. Frank has a question for me. Midas Touch. That is not ringing a bell. I will look at that and get back to you. Um, I know that we have Dragonfly Dragon either Dragonfly Dreams or Dragonflower Dreams coming up soon from Northcott. And we have a whole bunch of Patrick Lowe's that we are waiting for. I know some tiny some tiny he has really great basics. So we have a bunch of those that are coming up. 
but Midas Touch does not ring a bell for me. Okay. And um, as we close tonight, I just wanted to do a recap of our bundle of the week. So our bundle of the week is inspired by the beautiful blooming sewing machine fabric from Timeless Treasures that we still do have on the bolts. And I included a little bit of the Northcott Color Collage 2 collection. So I am going to switch overhead to be able to share the collection with you again. So remember that our bundles of the week are limited edition packs. Sometimes they last a couple hours, sometimes they last a couple days, sometimes they're here a little longer, but they're always super great deals. We have a new one every single week. Even if we somehow aren't able to make it online or you're not able to watch us, always check out our, our bundle of the week that pops online about 7 o'clock every Thursday. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. I had lots of fun with you. I hope you had fun with me. Make sure to stay safe tomorrow. Um, you know, we're totally planned. We totally planned for everything. So you know we're not going to get more than an inch of snow, which is going to be fabulous. So you can thank us tomorrow. Um, if there is more than that, um, we still, and, and you're out and about, make sure to check our Facebook page to see of any updates along the way. Uh, but we look forward to seeing you soon. I'll be checking the comments to answer any questions that we may have missed along the way. Until then, happy quilting, and we'll see you soon. <laughs>